Hi there, I'm Andrew and welcome back to Andrew's Channel International. Today we play some Hearts of Iron 4 with the Soviet, with Soviet Union. Today it's the 10th of August 1937 in our Ukrainic world. Um, Stalin declared war on Turkey and Romania entered. So now we are pushing in Armenia and uh, we just got the city of Van in the region. We're getting also soon the other the rest of the of the area, and it seems that the Turkish army is pretty so desperate here. The Romanians are not that bad because they started uh, defending themselves behind the bunkers behind a river. So that's going to be tricky, but let's see later. The Great Purge now starts, and we lose a lot of people, including Yegorov and Blücher. That's a pity, but I'm going to promote Zhukov now, and I hope that I hope that's gonna be enough. Uh, so we see if anyone was covered by Stalin. Now it looks good, perfect. So you man, Zhukov, you will be now our marshal. So I bring him here. He's a pretty tough guy, as you can see. And he's getting the offensive doctrine and the charisma. And the new infantry leader here could be Vasilevsky. Who, has, who, who could help us here? Or Meretsko, because he has also an infantry officer and he's reckless. Okay, let's do this. He's actually pushing. Uh, no, he's actually in Romania, so that's good. So, we are uh, now almost at the end of the political paranoia, but we still have some things to do. Let's behead the snake, meaning Trotsky. And by the way, we could already create an agency. I didn't consider that, but we should do it. And as soon as we are done with our four, now three civilian factories, we move up and we do another five military factories, okay? All right, that looks good. Let's unpause and continue pushing into Turkey. Those guys are really not doing nothing, right? They're like uh, getting repaired, but I prefer to have them bombing uh, Trebizon so that we can take the cost quicker. And I'm not creating any sort of pocket here because I think that uh, the, the rifles and Support equipment of the Turkish army is going to be useful. Oh, by the way, we lost also field marshes, so now we have to get uh, uh, Voroshilov. An yielding defender looks good for him. Okay. I need to unlock Shaposnikov so that it will discount my future. Not bad. Policies and uh, it's going to be easier. I'm going to get now the PR-43 class for the train because I want to have also the mobile artillery, the, the train artillery. really like it. Okay, I, as you can see here, my infantry is just waiting. I don't have air superiority. Actually, all my planes are here in Turkey, so I can't move them. Okay. So, we need another 150 days. Um, we're getting the new Soviet woman. More stability, which is fundamental right now. Really fundamental. And thanks God, now we have enough infantry equipment to support the war effort. Okay, our tanks are coming. They're also veterans already because they fought in Spain. You know, that's, that was not bad. Now we get custom on Wankara. Let me see if we can get quickly there with the tank. And when Ankara is falling down, I'm not sure if Turkey will capitulate, but for sure 
they're gonna have a very bad time because now they're completely stretched and uh, as you can see they cannot get uh, and, and take control I mean hey they can but then they will lose uh, you know what I'm doing here is pretty lame but we have the superiority we should do this okay they got anchor again did, did I lose did I really lose the tank see yeah I did it Yeah, I did. Amazing. Good. Let me have a look. Pocket defense, alright. Well, I could start the collectivization, but I'm not really happy about that. To continue with the block of the rights and Troskitas, uh, I need to wait another 110 days, okay. I think I will move back and uh, finish the five years plan. Okay. I move my spy Marcader in Mexico, because we have to behave the snake, so kill Trotsky. I think that everything looks good now. The Poshnikov can start and now we can get the pocket defense. So non-combat out of supply minus 10 plus supply brace. Alright, good. Oh we tried to, to get to Istanbul but we we're not lucky, so. Now it's a 37, so we might start another round of industrial technology. Okay. And Spain was... yeah, Spain is losing. Republican Spain is losing well, as expected, I would say. Alright. Sorge is my second favorite spy in, in, in the Soviet Union. It's moving to, to Mexico as well to speed up the creation of a network. Okay, let's inspect then the administration. And here, will it start working on an armor? Yeah, sure. Because now we can build the medium tank chassis. They have a discount thanks to the German technology, which is not bad at all. And now I'm getting also more organization and more entrenchment for my leg infantry. Right, so we're gonna lose um, 30 political paranoia, but no one is purged. We just get a, a new head of the NKVD, and he's bad, worse than the previous one. That's, that's the only malus that we get. Okay, Istanbul is almost in our hands. Okay, I have the feeling that I didn't give the right uh, order, so now this should be the order, right? Also for them. Okay. 
Yeah, definitely. Turkey is going to capitulate as soon as we get Istanbul, but we can also get Antalya, Karaman, and maybe the same. We should start thinking about uh, Romania now. Let's so take the pips so we can push this position. We have a lot of uh, troops here. And we need to keep pushing. Always with fresh troops. Ah, we are 4,700 rifles under, obviously. Because, yeah. Hey, where are we going? Stop here. Don't move. Okay, Spain has been defeated, unfortunately. Turkey is about to be. To capitulate. All right. So, um, yeah, I think it's time for some meals. Another five, and I think that right now we should have enough factories to the rifles. Definitely more than enough with eighteen. Uh, we should improve, of course, the light tanks, but soon we will need to improve this. The airplanes are still. Yeah, we need to. We need to build up really a military industry. Let's take everything, including also uh, the fleet, and let's confirm an exit. So Turkey now is completely in our hands. Where's the fleet of Turkey? I think here. So the two are now going together. Okay. Perfect. And now we push as much as possible. Mongolia wants to join the war. Not the not the time. That's that's okay. So we finished the five years plan. Okay, so there is still some paranoia. So I can't go, I, I need to wait another 35 days. Uh, okay, so I'm going to move to the foreign experts because I want to have a particular factory which is really important and I'm going to forge some uh, production reports to keep the paranoia low. We're gonna discuss about the foreign experts later on. And since I have really a lot of support equipment, I'm entering now the engineers and the recon in our infantry. And now we are going minus a thousand, but that's fine. We're increasing their, honestly, quality. Kosovsky can go here and you can go here. Good. All right. We get the new armor trains and we start researching the artillery. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get let's start pushing in Romania. Uh we have enough rifles, well, more or less. But what's gonna happen is that I'm going to eventually push through somewhere and they will lose it because they don't have enough troops and they will keep stretching their lines. First attack. I have, a lot, I have plenty of rifles and then power and I can just do that. I can just do that. And we did it. We pushed through in the north and now, now it's a big issue for them. We push through in the north. They are done. Also in the south. They are done. They are completely done, guys. Here we really used 
than brute force, but that was necessary. Alright, so... Not yet, right? Uh, no. So, I need 70 days, and in those 70 days, something bad can happen if I don't inspect the navy again. Shit. Need to be fast, though. <laughs> You also need to take Cluj because it's the second capital of Romania when the first one fails. Okay. Okay, now we can infiltrate the navy. Ah, 28% that's bad. <laughs> But Romania is about to collapse. Let me check if I need to uh, connect some railways. No, not yet. Not yet. Basic medium tank. Okay, I was waiting for this. But before we start building it, I need the basic armor. And I also need the radar to have a better radio. Only minus ten. Well, that's that's not promising. Come on, come on, come on! It's a couple of cities, and it's done. Okay, that's pretty good. We pick everything and we pick also the the fleet. That's it. I'm not going up and not gonna pop it or do anything. Perfect. Perfect. Guys, that's that happened. So now we have Turkey and Romania with a lot of oil and other material. I could also consider Yugoslavia, but then my my border would look, my borders would look too too strange, honestly. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I will create probably a very good supply hub in Venezia, and then move back to some civilian factories where I have the sixty percent at least four of them. And I, I'm really afraid that I won't be able to inspect the Air Force and I'm going to have a big issue soon. But let's see. And those guys now start uh, being deployed on some borders. Alright. Those guys here will suffer massively. Though. Let's see. Um, and as soon as we finish here, industry, and then we try to annex the Baltics. The Baltic regions, yeah? That's what I'm gonna do. Perfect. Oh, thanks God. It's over. We lost a lot of troops and a lot of stuff. This is giving me radio to write. No, this is giving me radio to shit. I need some more time and reserves, but we're gonna do it. So, as you can see now, we have to increase a lot our infantry equipment, but we will manage in a couple of months. Yeah, as, as, as I suspected here, we will need more time. Uh, so I need to invest massively in support equipment and light tanks. Okay, 
our fighters will recover pretty easily. And as soon as all those um, units are recovered, you see that now we are missing some men because we, we don't have the rifles. As soon as we are good there, we are gonna shift K and start training them. Bam. Guys, I think that I managed to get rid of the paranoia stuff. Jesus, it has been annoying, but we did it. And now we can work on Baltic security, as I said, and then we move back to the industry and we move as quick as possible uh, to um, the National Academy and the development. And yeah, now I can get finally the industry Gostro Preyoskroy, which I promise you is the best one in the game. Really. And because I will get all those uh, bonuses, but then I will also increase my relations with uh, Germany or Japan and get even more bonuses, uh, which I really like. I'm going to show you probably in the next tapes now. Uh, the input equipment is already good. Spectacular. We can start recruiting finally. Oh my. I can't believe it. And here we go. So now I can bring the German expert and get more uh, production efficiency growth and discount on license purchase. Or lack of resources penalty, that's also really good. Or production efficiency base, which is also very good. Or efficiency cap, which is probably the best one. So I'm going to bring the American experts. Seriously. Let's improve the relations with the capitalist <laughs> and use them for our revolution so mm. yeah I think I take the mass mobilization I mean yes we're the, we're the Soviets and let's develop now the Urals first, and then the Eastern Development, and then we take this Academy of Science, uh, then we need to go to the Leningrad new technology hub, which is here. So I need to do all this. But we will get there. We will definitely get there. Okay, I think that here we did everything I can. Nah, I'm not gonna get that. Fantastic. Let's go on the industry again. Guys, the Soviet Union is awake. And we have 49 military factories, 78 civil. We are going to increase again and again our military factories. And this is going to be fun. And before we start the attack design, I would really like to have the, the radio. But I, I think I won't manage, so let's do it now. We take the basic medium, we take the per set, which is the T32. And as you can see, uh, we have here a close support gun. We change it into a um, base high velocity cannon, which has a soft attack of 10, but another attack of 26, and piercing of 68, which is spectacular. I'm not setting it as an anti tank, but a radio. Two machine gun, that's not bad, but honestly, I would take, I would prefer the weapon munition storage, which is increase, uh, increases the reliability. And I'm also, uh, yeah, I think I stick to this. 73% it's horrible. Still, maybe I can increase the reliability using the torsion bar. Now I can use the T32. They, they're not fast. But they can pierce and they have some sort of art attack. I don't I don't mind. But it's too expensive right now, so I uh, unpause the game. I take the other development. And when I have a 24, I'm gonna save this. Not bad. Really.
Not that at all. Shinko is helping us. Right. As I could imagine, my mountaineers are suffering incredibly about the attrition, so I moved them for the time being here. Not bad. Even more reliability now. Max speed plus 12 armor minus... Oh no. Well, I thought that I picked them. Oh, did I really lose it? Yeah, I did. I did lose my tank designer, guys. I am so sorry about that. Yeah. Let's do it again. So it's very expensive, but... No. Alright. And torsion. Oh, Jesus, I just, just lost army experience. It seems like a joke. I believe that I'm going to... I believe that I'm going to change this in the next episode. I will I will do my best to uh, increase my yeah I'll do my best. Let's get our reserve slot number one and in the next episode we'll get the second reserve slot and then we try to uh, catch up with tanks uh, with cas which is also very important and as you can see now we have some some rifles so we can start training the um strikova yeah but there is an issue which is called support equipment so we're gonna move then some more resources in the into the support equipment to catch up because our template is not it's decent because we have uh, rt um engineers and recon but obviously Obviously, it's uh, also ex expensive because we have really a lot of soldiers that we might recruit. It's going to be fun, though, because now we have a couple of years to prepare against the German invasion and to prepare the Finnish invasion. So, yeah, stay tuned. And if you want to buy any game at a discounted price, you can check out my link to Instant Gaming here below. Uh, beside of that, I hope you had a good time and see you next time.